Now, when we click on the word start, we should see two rackets, the ball and the green and blue borders of the table tennis court. First, let's add the sprite called start. First, I click on sprites. Now, drag the make new sprite add block below the set background block. Now, after clicking this little arrow, I click the sprite called start. Now, when you click on this sprite, the start sprite should disappear. Let's make that command. First, I will click on events. Now, the when click block is dragged on to the workspace. Next, click this little arrow and click the start sprite. Now, we need to make the sprite disappear as soon as we click start. So I clicked on sprites and dragged the remove block below the when clicked block. Now click this little arrow and select start. As soon as start is clicked, the sprite must disappear and the two table tennis rackets, the ball and the boundaries of the play area needs to be displayed. Now let's add the two rackets onto the background. First, I will click on Sprites. Now, drag the Make New Sprite at block below the Remove block. Now, click the small arrow and select the red color racket. Let's keep this racket in the top corner of our table tennis court. I click the little icon in the yellow color location block which is in front of the Make New Sprite at block. Now, Move the mouse over the background. In our previous projects, our sprite moved when we moved the mouse. But I can't see it today. What is the reason for this? We have already made the command for our rackets to display after clicking start. Those of us who haven't clicked on start sprite can't see these two rackets. But we can play sprites anywhere in the background. You can see a plus sign moving. Let's move the mouse to the top corner and click. Now we can keep the racket here. Next, click on the run button and click on start. Now we can see where our racket is. It would be better if this racket was a little smaller. We know that we can use set size 2 block to change the size of a sprite. Now click the reset button again. We will now click on the sprites. Now drag the set size 2 block and place it below the make new sprite add block. Now after clicking this little arrow, I selected the red color racket. Let's make the size of the racket 70. I am typing 70 where it is currently 50. Now place the blue color racket at the bottom corner like this. Let's keep it as size 70. Also, let's get our table tennis ball. Let's adjust its size as 30. Now see how I do it. You now know how to do it. Now let's create visible boundaries marked with green and blue on the two edges. I clicked on Sprites. Now drag the Make New Sprite at block like this. Now we need to bring the green line to the top. Now click the small arrow and select the green line. Now click the yellow box in front of Make new sprite at block and move it like this until the value of Y is 397. Now click the mouse. 
Now click the run button and click on start. Now we can see our two records, the ball and the green boundary line. But our green line needs to be extended. So let's make its size 450. Click the reset button and after that click on sprites. Now drag the set size 2 block below the make new sprite at block. Now by clicking this small arrow I selected the green line. Now let's make the size of this line 450. I will type 450 where it is 30. Just like that, adjust the size of the blue line also to 450. Now click on the run button and click on start. Now we have finished creating our table tennis court. 